know, up close and personal. Yeah, I was way close and personal <laughs> this morning. <laughs> we still don't have our equipment, so this is what it's going to be. So, welcome everyone to the Carpenter's House Ministry. Whoop, 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 whoop. Did he just try to do my whoop? whoop, 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 whoop. Whoa. Seems like Pastor a little hype today. That's usually all me. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, if you're new to our lives, I am First Lady Charmaine. And this is Pastor Malik. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you might hear echo because we have nothing really in our new spot yet, but <laughs> it's exciting. Good morning, Auntie Fee. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And like she said, welcome to Carpenter's House Ministry. Um, yes. It's been a week. It has. <laughs> it's been a week. It's been ups and downs and highs and lows and mm -hmm. literally highs off the ground and lows right. back to the ground. Bunch of blessings. Right. And yeah. through this, God always gets his glory. And yes. through this, God gets praise and adoration from us. Mm -hmm. And I Amen. pray that your week has been wonderful and lovely too. And even if it hasn't, that God still continues to get your praise and glory. Right. Because he will fix anything that's going on in your life. Amen. But, um, so we're here in Tennessee. Yes, we are. And it's 11 o'clock in Tennessee. But we know that it's 9 o'clock out there. So we're thinking about that's probably what we're going to be doing, the time frame. Yeah. And if you guys are not up, then we just replay. Right. And we'll direct you all to that at the end of this broadcast. Mm -hmm. But anyway, let's go ahead and pray. Yes. Father God, we just thank you, Lord God, for being God all by yourself, Lord God. Lord God, you are the Alpha and the Omega in our lives, Lord God. Yes, Lord yes. God, you are the creator of everything and the author of our lives. And we give yes, you praise yes. and thanks just for being God by yourself. Yes, yes. Lord God, we thank you for grace and mercy for this week that you have given us. Lord God, we know we yes, do not deserve yes. grace and mercy, but we thank you for it, Lord God. Yes, Lord, Jesus. Lord God, we thank you for the blessings that thank you've you, given Lord. in our household, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you for our finances. Lord, we thank you yes, for thank our you, family. God. We thank you for our health, Lord yes, God. We Lord thank Jesus. you for the roof over our head, Lord God. Yes, we thank Lord. you for the food in our bellies, Lord God. Yes, Lord God, we thank you for the clothes on our back. Lord, yes, we thank Lord. you for the gas in our cars. And Lord God, if we don't have a car, we thank you for the shoes on our feet yes, and the Lord socks Jesus. to keep us warm, Lord God. Yes, Lord, Lord God, we thank you for everything thank that you, you have Lord. given us. We thank you for the wisdom that you have given us to maneuver thank through this God. week, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you that you have thank surrounded you. us with people that are prayer warriors and prayerful people, Lord God. Yes, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we thank you that you have also surrounded us with people who do not know you so that we can go ahead and be a testimony yes, to your Lord. word and your living, Lord God, and how you do things, Lord God, yes, and that Lord. they may become people in your fold, Lord God, because these are all your children. We are yes, all Lord your children, God. Lord God. Lord God, right now, Continue to bless this ministry, Lord God, as we yes, move forward Lord into this next phase of the ministry, Lord God. Lord God, bless everybody who hears the sound of my voice, Lord God, yes, that God. your praise be constantly in their mouth and the Holy Spirit yes, be constantly Lord. in their spirit, Lord God. Lord God, right now, bless us with a word from you, Lord God. Bless us with what you would have your people to know today, Lord God. Yes. And Lord God, we will continue to give you all the honor and all the glory and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise God. So, we moved down here to Tennessee. Yes, we did. And <laughs> we, me and First Lady were just talking about this. Like, um, From my perspective of what my family... My family came from the South. Mm -hmm. um, my dad's side of the family, they came from the South. They came from Carolinas and um, Virginia and, 
and places um, places like that, Georgia. And what they were telling us, the elders who were telling us that they ran from racism and they ran from slavery and they ran from Jim Crow laws and they ran from mm -hmm. all this. And so moving down here to the South, I had some preconceived notions as to what was going to go on. Like, oh, I prepared my son, yeah, there's going to be a lot of people that, that call you racist names and there's going to be a lot of people mm -hmm. who are going to be opposed to you. And that's not the case. Mm -hmm. So I kind of wanted to go and, and, and think about this. And I had to think about that really quick. And I had to really ask God, what would you like for me to say to your people? Yeah. And the thing that he wanted me to talk to you today about is Ephesians um, 5, verse 1 and 2, which is walk in love. And I'll read the scripture first, and then we'll get into, we'll get into the sermon today. It's not really a sermon, but it's just some words of wisdom mm -hmm. that we would like for you to have today. Um, it says in Ephesians 5, um, verse 1 and 2, it says, Therefore, be imitators of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also has loved us and given himself for us, an offering and sacrifice to God for a sweet swelling aroma. Well, God wants us to know that we're all his children. And we all should treat each other with respect and dignity and class. And, and we don't necessarily have to like each other. That's not what he says. He doesn't say, I need you to like everybody that you want, you know, everybody that you see. You know, you don't necessarily have to agree with everybody. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily have to have the same views as everybody. But walk in love. What that means is that we are here to make sure that we are representatives of God on this earth. We are representatives and we're walking in the way that Jesus walked on earth. Jesus loved everybody. Mm -hmm. He loved the saints, the sinners, the judges, the accusers, the, the ones who followed him. He loved everybody equally. He showed no um, restraints in his love. Yeah. When he needed to go ahead and talk to the Pharisees and the Sadducees about it, he wasn't disrespectful to them. When he talked to Pontius Pilate and Pontius Pilate asked him questions, he was not disrespectful to Pontius, even though Pontius' job was to make sure that all the Romans and all the, the, the people of the inhabitants of Jerusalem were, um, were taken care of. He was the governor. And he made sure that all the laws were followed to a T. And he never spoke a word of condemn or word of, of malice or ill will towards Pontius Pilate. Mm -hmm. Even though this man sentenced him to death. What I'm saying is, is that in this day and age, we may have different views. Right. We may have opposing ideologies. Mm -hmm. We may have a whole bunch of things that are different, but what makes us the same is the love of God. And what God is saying to us mm -hmm. is to love one another as Jesus loved the church. Amen. Love one another. You ain't got to sit there and be like, uh, oh, I really want to like you all the time because it's not going to happen. Like, be honest with you, me and, me and First Lady talk about it. Sometimes we don't like each other. Mm -hmm. It's just That's the way it true. is. And we married. Ooh, so. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, is this, is that I want you to take away from this message is the fact that God wants us all to love one another. Mm -hmm. And when he means love one another, be kind to each other. If you mm -hmm. see somebody who's out there who needs a helping hand, help them. If you see an elderly person or one of our if elders, you can. If, yeah, if you can, um, we always can at, at points and times mm -hmm. in our lives. We can we can do more than what we're doing. Um, if you see an um, an elderly person, one of our one of our um, elders who are having issues like crossing the street or opening a door or or 
or something of that nature, help them out. You know, even if they're being, if they say rude things to you or being nasty to you, be the example that God wants us to be. Right. Walk in love. Walk in the fact that you know that God loves you and God loves them, so we should show love towards each other. There's a scripture that always says that I love. Um, how can you love God who's in heaven that you can't see, mm. but you don't love your brother who you see every day? Wow. That's deep. So we need to walk in love. We, need, we see each other every day. Mm. Whether it be that neighbor, that nosy neighbor that always is there, whatever, bugging you, whatever. Treat him with love. Treat him with kindness. You know, um, one of my aunties uh, in North Carolina, you know, baby, you need to kill him with kindness. Mm -hmm. Treat him with kindness. Walk in love. Give him that extra oomph to let them know that God is behind this. Not just you. Mm -hmm. You're not doing this for spite. You're not doing this just to be a smart, you know, a smart person. So just give it to him in love. Be like, okay, well, I still love you. God bless you. You know, mm -hmm. we went to, perfect example, we, my wife loves Michael Kors. <laughs> she loves Michael Kors. Um, I do. Yeah. And so she has a bunch of purses. She's there all the time. And God has provided us with the finances to do that. So praise God for yes, that. Amen. And we went to the one in California before we left. Here. And California is supposed to be this liberal state and loving state and everybody's all chill and, and relaxed and all that. But I've seen more racism in California than I have here in the South. And I think it's more of the fact that As this being what they call the Bible Belt, like people really live by that. They walk in love. They they treat us with respect. Mm -hmm. They may not necessarily like us. They may not necessarily be you know um, people who are like I don't you know I don't like black people. I don't like white people. I don't like this race or whatever. And that's a whole different other subject. Mm -hmm. But they still treat us with respect. And that's all you could ever ask for in somebody, is to be treated with respect. Respect the fact that I'm walking down the street and you can go ahead and either help me across the street or you can move out the way. Mm -hmm. Respect the fact that I have a right to say what I need to say. And love on me in a Christ-like way. If I'm down and I'm hurt, you may not necessarily like my race. You may not necessarily like me as a person. But come and assist me in my time of need. Call an ambulance. Call 911. Mm -hmm. Call whoever. You know, call Bubba Joe over across the street who got something that can help me out and, and do that. But always walk in love. Walk in that. Walk in that, that favor that God has given you. To go ahead and treat each other with kindness and, and compassion and humility and respect. You know, it was weird. Like I said, we went to the Michael Kors and we got treated with such disrespect. Yeah. But yesterday we went to Opry Mills and she went to the Michael Kors place. And this, this little southern thing, she came over to her and she was like, ma'am. She called her ma'am and gave her respect and all that. And gave her the kind of treatment that, that everybody should be. Everybody should have. Yeah. Yeah. And it didn't matter that we were black, she was white. It mm -hmm. didn't matter that, that I was older, she was a little bit younger. It didn't matter the fact that, um, you know, we weren't like dressed so called like, you know, like we had money or anything like that. Mm, right. She treated we weren't us. We were judged. Right. We were not judged. That's a big thing with First Lady. Mm -hmm. she, don't judge. Right. Do not That's judge. That's a big thing. You know, just like the woman at the, at the well. You know, like, 
who the excuse me, the woman that was about to be stoned. God said, Jesus said, let he who is without blemish cast the first stone. That means if your life is scot free and you saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, and you are like sitting there and you don't have any kind of marks on you at all, did never did nothing wrong, always did everything in the righteous, and you stay in the righteous, then yeah, at that point you have a point to judge somebody who has committed adultery or committed a sin. But no one. No one. No one. No one is that perfect except right. Jesus. And even he was like, I'm not going to judge her. Because he turned around and told the woman, turn away from sin. Don't do it again. And repent. Mm -hmm. Tells her that. Says repent and sin no more. So even Jesus gave her a pass. Right. If Jesus can give her a pass, you can definitely give her a pass. Mm -hmm. You know? Walk in love. He's saying it right there. Paul is telling us right now, walk in love. Jesus wanted us to walk in love. When he left here and left the Holy Spirit, he wanted us to be reminded to walk in love. Walk in that. Be kind to each other. Be good to one another. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you look out for the people that, that, that are around you. You know, you may not necessarily like what they're doing in their life, you know, there are a lot of parents out there who have children. You don't necessarily like what they're doing in their life, but love on them anyway. Mm -hmm. Walk in love. Show them that you are representative of God's kingdom and that they may not necessarily be in God's kingdom right now or trying to walk in that path right now, but show them what it looks like. Be an example of that. Be an example to all the people in your neighborhood. Be an example to the people at your job. Be an example to the people that you run into on a daily basis in your community, in your town, in your city. Be that example. It doesn't have to take a lot of effort. Just be kind to somebody. Love on them. Just be like, I love you. Or, God bless you. Or, you know, God be with you. Or whatever. However you want to say it. Just give the love of God to one person a day. I promise you, it will change your life. It will change your life because then it's almost like it's, it's addictive. It's like you want to say it to everybody mm -hmm. now. You say it to one person, then you say it to another person. I bless you, you gives you right, joy. Right. Make you right. feel good. Right. Right. You know, every time I go into a store and I see somebody who's being mean to my first lady, all I, the first thing I say to you, God bless you. First lady look at me like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> she, no. she she look at me. No, she she's she's really good about it, but she understands where I'm coming. <laughs> she understands where I'm coming from when I do that because mm. I'm like, you can be nasty all you want to, but God bless you. I'm gonna go ahead and walk in love and be nice to you. I'm going to show you that example. And you all can do the same. Okay. This is not rocket science. This is not something that's hard to do. All you have to say is, God loves you, or God bless you, or do you know Jesus? You know, don't be sitting around, oh, you need Jesus in your life. No, be like, okay, God bless you. Mm -hmm. Be blessed. Bless somebody. That's walking in love. Helping somebody out, that's walking in love. Treating people with respect, that's walking in love. Just think about that the next time you go ahead and you interact with people. I just wanted to say that today, and I hope you're blessed by this message. Amen. 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 All right, all right, all right. So, if you would like to watch the replay, you can watch it on Facebook or any other video that we have. You can watch it on Facebook at Carpenter's House Ministry. 
You can also watch it on our YouTube at Carpenter's House Ministry. You can also catch us on Instagram at Carpenter's House Ministry. And if you want any prayers, questions, or anything, you can reach us on our email at the Carpenter's House Ministry at gmail.com. And if you would like to donate to our ministry, we have Cash App at Carpenter's House Min. M I N. Exactly. Thank you for tuning in to our ministry. We Thank appreciate you. God bless you. You All guys right. have a wonderful week. Until next time. Bye.